this is probably going to be short, but it's been something sticking in my craw for a bit, and I'll probably make a longer video uh, about this subject on my new channel, but I needed to say something about this, um, mostly because somebody yet again came at me with this bullshit number. You know, these bullshit statistics that they haven't looked into, that they're parroting from their racist conservative fuck buddies, and, like, that they don't actually understand. Um, and I, I figure I'll, you know, make some enemies, and I'll try to keep this around ten minutes so that y'all can share the video. Feel free to share the video. Because this is going to piss off any conservative who sees it. So I hope it does. Because uh, there, was a, there was a tweet I wrote that got quite a bit of traction um, among a few normies. Um, and one of the sorts of normies that came at me about this was uh, this ultra MAGA doctor president elect David Peach. Zawatowski. Um, now, that sounds like a parody to me, you know? But this is like my, uh, my opportunity to respond to this, so I figure I will. I figure I'll respond to this, even if it's a parody account. Um, and uh, the worst thing that happens is you all have a little bit more information to talk to your racist relatives or uh, unfortunate associates with. Um, so, this tweet was, uh, there are no good police officers, hashtag Tyree Nichols, neither the Republican or Democrat party will stop police brutality, you people in charge are there to protect the status quo, and people like Rodney King and Kelly Thomas are your way of reminding folks to stay in line. Evil. Um, so this person obviously had to butt in with, uh, the despite making up 13% of the population, um, black people commit over 50% of murders. <laughs> um, so, I thought I would go into this. I'll bring up uh, an article that starts off uh, relatively good about this subject, which is on Detester magazine. And basically... The article goes over some interesting information, like the 50% statistic is most likely derived from the most recent edition of the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Statistics. This database states that African Americans uh, are arrested for 51.2% of all murder and non-negligent manslaughter. However, according to this same FBI source, when one includes the thousands of homicides uh, in which the race of the perpetrator was listed as unknown, this number drops to 39.6%. Now, that might still sound like a lot, but ultimately, this is just about arrests, not convictions. Uh, and even then, the UCR itself admits that some of these statistics rely largely on voluntary reports from law enforcement. This is significant because law enforcement agencies have consistently proven to be biased against people of color. For example, when the U.S. Justice Department conducted an investigation into policing in Ferguson, Missouri, they found substantial evidence of racial bias among police and court staff. The proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences reports similar findings in their 2017 analysis of body camera footage from Oakland, California. This suggests that the data reported by law enforcement could easily suffer from bias. So, then it goes over po poverty, basically going over the fact that, like, uh, police hyper-police poor neighborhoods and also that black people are almost always, um, like, in the poverty bracket, largely due to conditions outside of their control, um because generational wealth impacts career opportunities, it impacts the ability to start your own uh, source of income, it, it impacts your ability to even have, you know, a stable family home. That's why they were promised 40 acres and a mule by the uh, essentially racist North, and 
never got it because Lincoln was a tyrant and a massive hypocrite who codified the prison industrial complex uh, into law with the 13th Amendment, saying that slavery would still be allowed if you were a criminal, which is why they have a huge amount of incentive to arrest people. And people can languish in jail for a really long time before, you know, actually being convicted, much less having those convictions stay. So what happens when those convictions are bullshit? What happens when those uh, convictions don't even happen? Well, if you want an interesting statistic as well, how about we talk about uh, this other 50%? How about we talk about um, the uh, CBS story here on basically the fact that the clearance rate for these violent crimes is 50 fucking percent. That they did all this research and found out that a lot of these murders just go unsolved. So you can tell me that 50% of the murders are committed by black people only if you're racist. Because 50% of the murders don't even get solved to prove who did it. Um, and then if you look at this one as well, this is a report on racial bias um, in terms of exoneration. And you will see that uh, black people make up uh, a very large percentage of the exonerations. Almost like 50%. So, you know, I feel like a lot of these people don't want to acknowledge the facts. They don't want to look into the facts. They don't want to look into the fact that, you know, <laughs> black people are about seven and a half times more likely, seven and a half times more likely to be convicted of murder than innocent white people. That applies equally to those who are sentenced to death and those who are not. So if you notice a trend here, the 50% is really more nuanced than just saying they commit 50% of murders. Because they don't. And that's stupid and evil and racist and absurd to say. But it fits so nicely on your stupid fucking bumper sticker. Or in your stupid fucking tweet. Or in some cases, you're not stupid either. And you're just saying this because you want to manipulate people into believing something you know isn't true because at least it gets those black people where they belong. This kind of thing is evil. It's evil because it, it, it fits all nicely. It's easy to say so so many people can just throw it out there. All they've got to do is throw out a few numbers and they've got it. You know, sort of like the... The, the bullshit numbers of, of um, uh, 1488, those numbers, right? Because if, if, if you want to say that you love Hitler, um, you should really do that in coded slang. Because the internet doesn't know how to do research, and it's a real good way to slip past the censors until they realize what you were saying, Right? And that's exactly what this kind of thing is. This person has no fucking clue how crimes are solved. They don't know what crimes are uh, in terms of convictions and actual commission. They don't care. The real research doesn't matter to people like this. What matters to people like this is getting their little fucking plug in. So, you know, I decided that uh, in response to this person and so many people uh, like them, uh, I figure I'll just, you know, lay it out all nicely um, in my tweet of my own right over here saying, you want to talk 1350? I let's talk about how despite making up only 13% of the population, black people make up 53% of those exonerated for crimes they did not commit. Let's talk about how the 50% statistic you have is related to arrests, not convictions. Fuck off, racists. And then remember that 50% of murders go the fuck unsolved. So, if that's the case, if 50% of the murders go unsolved, 
then guess what else? That number that they have, even if it was completely true, would drop to 25 fucking percent, and they would have nothing to stand on in this regard. Because that's actually a fairly reasonable distribution. But they don't do math. They don't do research. They don't need the smarts. They just need the arrogance, the racism, the elitism, the classism. Because they're stupid, ignorant little pieces of shit. And they have no problem reinforcing the police state because they think it protects them. Well, newsflash, you're not going to be the one operating the train car. You're not going to be the one in charge in a racist paradigm. You're going to be the one in the camp just like everyone else is. Because the elites love your racism. The elites love your division, your hatred for your fellow man. They love that. Because it means that we're too busy fighting each other to point our barrels upward and smash the fucking state.